Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so uh, we have gone through the unboxing and some comparisons of uh, the Pocket versus the, uh, I mean some other keyboard phones are uh, available last time and uh, in the last video. So today we are actually going to take a look at the first look of the Pocket versus the Titan. Okay, as you can see, uh, the size of the Pocket is actually similar to the Titan. Actually, you are wrong. So yeah. It's actually a lot smaller. Okay, so I think it's safe to say that uh, the Titan pockets can really fit into your pocket and properly this time. The thickness is about the same. I think the thickness is uh, it's actually the same. So the weight is uh, lesser by a hundred. I think it's a uh, no, it's about uh, 80 grams. And the size is so much smaller. Okay, have you noticed one thing is that uh, the keyboard size, the height of the keyboard is exactly the same. So what changed is just the screen size and the width. The keys are exactly the same height. So one good thing is that uh, if you have big fingers, uh, you actually have a lot of room to work with. But let's say if I want to type, my hand, will be, my thumb will cover about 4 buttons here. It will cover about 9 buttons here. Yeah. So it's about 9 buttons. So, I'm hoping the typing experience uh, will not be that much uh, different because uh, we all used to be using all the smaller BlackBerry like phones or BlackBerry itself. Yeah, so when we take a look uh, at the, when I first set up the phone and take a look at it, uh, uh, one issue that I realized right out of the box is uh, the screen color temperature. The screen resolution itself wasn't the first thing I noticed that was different. It was the screen temperature. Uh, I am not too sure how we can change it, but uh, let's just put a side by side of a white screen here. Okay, so I have a side by side of the white screen here. Let me cut adjust the thing. Okay, I am. I'm not too sure if you can pick up the differences uh, from the video itself, but uh, this is really white. It's the cooler white, uh, kind of white. And uh, on the pocket itself, it's actually yellowish, so it's a warmer color. Let me know in the comments uh, if you guys know if there's any way to change the screen temperature, because I've not uh, set up the phone finish. Uh, and I'm just trying to, to, to go through the, the things that I found out during my first look. Okay, so in my previous video, I mentioned that we'll doing a we'll be doing a volume test. So, but this time round, it's more like uh, we want to find out uh, if there is a difference uh, in the in the volume, of course, the sound quality, volume, and uh, whether there will be uh, any difference uh, when you are putting them on a soft surface instead of a flat surface because uh, of the design, where the speakers at the back. And now we have this additional small curving groove. Uh, maybe it will lift the phone up enough to let the sound through. Okay, so let's uh, start with the Titan. Hope the volumes are in there. Okay, so from the initial sound test, uh, it is very obvious that uh, they are about the same volume. I would say that uh, the the sound of the pockets cuts through more because uh, it is actually there, there is more uh, what call there is more high pitch coming out. Uh, this one has a fuller sound with a slightly more uh, body and bass. Okay, so let's now try our bit test. Our bit test. Let's this is put on the bit, assuming it will cover the. The speaker so let's try it on the beat i usually find that it's really soft because uh, once it's flat down okay i'm sure there is some problem that you all face uh, sometimes uh, when uh, the item is not flat on the table so let's try it on the the pocket. Yeah. Okay, so 
Yeah, about the same effect. Oh. So the, speed, the sound still cannot cut through even after the improvement. Uh, okay, so uh, I hope to report back uh, after I really tried it uh, using it as a daily because uh, a lot of time I cannot hear any ringtone coming out from the Python when it is on my bed or on my chair. There is uh, nothing that's, that's not a flat surface. Okay, one annoying thing I have uh, experienced with the pocket, even just when setting up, is that uh, they shifted the the multitasking button to the right side. Okay, this is not just because uh, we have to switch our brain around when using switching between uh, the Titan and the pocket. Uh, the main annoyance is that when you are reaching here with your left hand, sometimes we are using it with your left hand, when we press the recent button, you will also press the home button. You also touch the home button by accident. So you will never be able to bring up the recents. You see? So you have to actually press it very carefully or use uh, the your other hand. So same thing, if you are using back button, you will actually touch the home button by accident. Okay, so I assume the most important thing about uh, this kind of phones is uh, the ability to type and multitask. But uh, today we'll just be doing a typing test. I'll be introducing my setup for both my Titan and my Pocket uh, in the next video. As you can see, my interface is really different uh, from my YouTube interface just now. Like, this is not the regular YouTube that uh, you all will see. Uh... So I'll be... Uh, also, of course, the, the layout and the DPS setting. Because uh, this is... Uh, what I have been using. So as you can see, the text here is quite small. But I'll be just doing a typing uh, test. Not really accuracy test, uh, just a typing test. Because I have never typed, uh, actually I never typed full sentence on the pocket before. So uh, this is a raw jump from the Python to the pocket. Okay, simple. We'll be doing the classic uh, quick one frogs jump over the lazy dot. Okay, no punctuation. Uh and no capitalization okay uh, i'm not going to time this but uh, you can actually see this uh. okay so uh quick one for jump over the lazy dog of course there is uh, auto correct because i'm using the blackberry keyboard i have heard that we can port the apk over uh, but you cannot download the apk so uh, i will be trying that i'll be sh doing a video to show you how if that is possible Okay, so uh, accuracy on the, we are not going to talk about accuracy, but uh, okay, it's quite well. I have, be, I can be, I'm, I'm able to do this uh, without looking at the screen anymore uh, or the keyboard anymore. So uh, on the Titan, it's really great. Uh, we also have our double tap to move the cursor. Okay, this will be uh, also available here. So let me try. I've never typed on here before. So this is the first time I'm typing a sentence on here or whatever. And uh I'm trying to type at the speed uh, I did here and uh, of course without looking or actually I'm trying to a bit, I have to try to look a bit because it's very different so uh, let's not delay in doing okay uh, we are just seeing some typos here because I am really sure this is Definitely because uh, I am not familiar with the keyboard. Okay, I found something weird when typing. The keyboard is slightly rubbery, whereas this is really smooth. It may be because of wear and tear, because I have forgotten how the keyboard performed when I first got the Titan. But this is really rubbery. But it's really clicky. It's really clicky. So one thing that I really like about the LG Titan uh, is that uh, when we configure, okay, when we configure the, when we configure the convenience key to become to act as a control button, we can use control and backspace for full word delete. So this acts just like the back swipe of the key one or the brief or the fast port. 
and I am sure we can set it up to do the same here because uh, control and backspace uh, basically means uh, backspace uh, I mean uh, full word clear but I haven't set it up yet so I'll be showing you how to set up all this uh, when I can so in the next video I'll be going through uh, why my apps uh, and my home screen look so funny I mean uh, to some people I mean icons are very small the text are especially small Okay, so I'll be going through my launches, my DPI setting, and uh, we'll do a comparison about the size of the apps and the compatibility, and uh, maybe we'll go through a game or two. Uh, so I'll see you in the next video.